Hey guys, and welcome to another video in my shop talk and tip series. In today's video, I'm going to go over the steps I took to make my dust collection system for my Delta 12.5 inch thickness planer. As you're going to see in this demonstration, the factory method of removing the sawdust isn't the most efficient way if you want to keep your shop clean. So this got me thinking what I could do to improve this. I knew I had a shop vac with my homemade cyclone system, so now I had to figure out the simplest and best way to hook that shop vac up to this thickness planer. I did some researching and I found a lot of different ways I could do this, but they all looked pretty bulky and a lot of them were made out of wood. I also wanted to use my metal brake and use up some of the sheet metal I have laying around my shop. As you can see here, that was only three passes and we got quite a mess on our hands. I started by, well unplugging it because that's the first thing you should do when you're working on tools. And then I went ahead and started removing the sides just so I had more work area. I removed the dust chute assembly, I believe that's what they call this in the manual. So that's what we're going to call it. Now this serves two purposes. One, it directs the sawdust away and two, it actually protects you from the cutting knives. As you can see here, I'm using cardboard for my template. Now when it comes to making templates, cardboard is your best friend because you can cut it, you can fold it, and if it doesn't work, you can just get a new piece. I'm going to be using a two and a half inch vacuum nozzle and this will allow me to hook my shop vac hose up to the actual thickness planer. After I sorted everything out, I then took that cardboard template and traced that onto a piece of sheet metal. And since we have the dust chute that came off the thickness planer, we're going to make sure everything is the right size so it fits very nicely. Next I found the center and I'm going to trace out where the vacuum attachment will go so I can cut that hole out. Now a little technique I like to use is I like to drill out the corners of the actual square I'm going to cut out. That way you don't overcut and you always have nice clean corners. I made the hole a quarter inch smaller than the actual vacuum attachment because I'm going to drill through and I'm going to use some 1032 bolts to secure it. Putting a 90 degree bend in the sheet metal is the next step. Now as you're going to see, I should have put the bend in first and then cut the hole out because I had a real tough time bending that small little lip. But hey, that's how we learn. I'll also have a link in this video to show you how I made this break step by step. But now let's make sure this fits in the thickness planer. These are the 1032 nuts and bolts that I mentioned earlier, how I'm going to fasten this vacuum attachment to the actual flange. After a quick coat of paint, this is ready for final assembly. I put a drop of permanent Loctite on the threads because I don't want those nuts to back off from the vibration of the machine.
Now it's time to test this new dust collection system out to see how well it performs. Now during the build I was a little afraid that my shop vac won't actually keep up to the sawdust that is coming off the thickness planer because all that sawdust is going to be going down at the two and a half inch hose but before it was just kind of dumping out onto the floor. But after doing a couple passes, I found out that this will not be a problem. Now this doesn't pick up 100% of the sawdust, I'd say it picks up about 95% of it. But I'm very happy how it turned out. And my shop is going to be a lot cleaner now. And there you have it, that's how I made my dust collection system for my 12 and inch Delta thickness planner. I hope you guys can take some ideas from this or even build your own. If you enjoyed this video or you learned a thing or two, be sure to hit that like button as well as don't forget to subscribe for my future videos and I really appreciate all the support you guys are giving me. Thanks for watching.